Hello YouTube, I'm uh, just going to do another quick tip video um, about drilling out the center of a dowel or uh, some bar stock, whatever you want. You can do this with wood or metal, um, you know, whatever you want. Um, the issue is if you were to do this the, you know, sort of intuitive way, um, the, the way you might expect where you might mount this in a vise on your drill press and very accurately align all of this and then try and send the bit straight through or even halfway through and then up the other way uh, you're, you're going to end up with alignment issues uh, your bits either going to wander on um, you know on impact here uh, when it starts to actually enter or there's going to be some minute variance in the alignment of the piece that you have chucked in the bottom and you're going to end up drilling slightly off center uh, or you know or out of plumb and what's going to happen here is even if you try and match them up from both sides, which is the way you usually will see people do this, you're going to end up with an alignment issue. You're going to end up with functionally a V in the middle of your um, stock. You don't want that, especially if you're doing this for something like, you know, a bushing or a bearing. Um, you can't have that. So uh, if you're used to working with a lathe, you probably know that the best way to do this is actually to spin the material versus the bit. Have a stationary bit and spin the material onto it. Uh, this has the advantage of forcing everything to want to self-center, um, which is really, really nice. Um, and you can do this with your home drill press, um, and it, it's actually very, very easy. My home drill press will take up to about 5 8 uh, material, so if you need to drill down the center of anything up to about 5 8 um, you can do this more than likely in your home drill press. So let's get started. Okay, so um, now we need to get our bit. Uh, aligned with our vise, but remember we're going to be flipping this upside down. We're going to be aligning it this way. So the way to, to get this perfectly aligned is actually to uh, chuck our bit upside down in the vise. I'm sorry, upside down in the drill press and just barely, barely tighten it. Just enough to hold it in place and give it a quick turn on, make sure it's, you know, good and it's not going to go anywhere. And then drop it carefully down into your vise, move the stationary side of the vise, so in this case the right side, over so it just barely kisses the bit, and then tighten up the other side, and just get it nice and snug. Um, you don't have to have a death grip on this thing, but you know, tighter is better than looser. Now, uh, this is the reason why you want this to be very loose, is you want to be able to just finger untighten it, and then pull the material back up. Um, I have this dropped down a lot so you guys can actually see it. Um, this is still actually a lot closer than uh, I would normally want it so I'm going to actually drop this down even further. And then raise our material or raise our uh, check up off of it. Okay at this point this is nice and tight you can give it a little extra. Um, just make sure you don't move this from here on out. Now you're going to open up your chucks really wide now I could probably come close to drilling all the way through I'm not going to I'm just gonna go about halfway and then on the other side as well and you don't want this super tight on wood uh, just because you don't want it to mess up the wood and that's it uh, we're all now perfectly aligned um, everything here is going to now want to self-center okay so the only time you need to be careful at all and that's mostly just for tear out purposes and making sure that we get a good start is when we first drop this down you're going to want to go slow until you know we get a good bite here and uh, then we'll go about halfway take it out reverse the material put it back on and we'll be done So when doing this with wood, make sure to, to pull up often, uh, not just to let the chips out, but also to not light your piece on fire. Uh, you are basically creating a lot of friction in here. Should be more than halfway through on that side. And you can see like, you know, this dowel is not 100% perfectly straight. And I don't know if you can see it on film, but you can see it flex ever so slightly, okay? Um, that's it, it self-centering itself, which is really, really handy. It's the beauty of this uh, particular technique. I'm going to chuck it in upside down. Again, just get it nice and 
um, tight, not, not too tight, because uh, again, we don't want to wreck our wood, especially the hollow sides are now going to be a lot more brittle. Okay, that should be all the way through. And it is just lined up. And it's actually a very clean hole on the inside, so you don't have that V-ing problem um, that you might have using the other technique where you go in from one side and then from the other side, um, but with the bit chucked in the traditional manner.